Hi, I'm Steve. I'm here to talk to you about your data. This is your data on ICE. Your data belongs to you, belongs to your customers. It's good data. It's important data. And although one resource manager could handle all of it and all of its traffic, you've got two resource managers. That's so you can have a failover in case of an emergency. And that, my friend, that's smart. Now the configuration I'm talking about is called high availability and that means that both resource managers are available at any time to take over the full load if needed. High availability. You've got a choice in how you want to configure those resource managers. In the active standby version, your active resource manager handles all the data and all the traffic and the standby one is empty but it's available and ready to take over in case there's a failover. Under active active both resource managers handle about half the data each and both of them remain ready to handle all of the data just in case there's a failover. So the bottom line is either way your data is safe, it's protected, it's being handled and your customers are never going to suffer an outage. But is one better than the other? Maybe. Under Active Active, both of the resource managers are operating at about half capacity. Neither is being pushed towards its limit. And you know that both are ready to do the job because they're both already doing the job. Now under Active Standby, the Active Resource Manager is being pushed much closer to its limit. And the Standby one, well, how do you know it's ready? You have to keep sending it little tests and that consumes time, it takes resources, and in my opinion it's a little bit less efficient. So I think that active-active is the way to go. In fact, I'll drink to it.